Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Air Monique, and welcome back to my channel. You guys are here to see how I make my closure unit wig, so stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. First things first, you will need a dome cap, a mesh dome cap. I like to use those. Those are more breathable. They're not as hot as the regular dome cap, so those are the kind I get. They're, they should be at your local beauty supply store for about $2.99, no more than 5 bucks, No more than $4, actually. You'll also need a pair of scissors, needles, T-pins, and thread. Curved needles to be exact. So first thing I will do is I am going to put the closure on and you will need your T-pins to place the T-pins around the closure to hold the closure in place to get ready to sew it down. Now don't mind my wig hat. I've had this wig hat for some times and I have T-pins sticking out of the face and the neck and needles as well. Don't judge me, okay? So I usually take about four T-pins and just place those around the closure, maybe two on the front and two in the back to hold it down on all four sides. And then you'll go ahead to start sewing that closure on to the cap. When sewing down the cap, I also like to bring the closure down a little bit above the cap in the front. So when you cut that piece off at the end, it just gives it a different look while it's on. So now I have my curved needle is already threaded. I am going to take this needle and I'm going to place it through the cap, but not all the way directly through the cap. As you'll see, it's like a two layer on that band on the outside of the cap. I don't wanna place it directly through. I'm just gonna place it through the first layer and I'm gonna place it directly through the side of the lace closure. To knot your needle correctly, I like to take the needle and I pull it up and I'm gonna pull it all the way through and I'm gonna take the needle and go in between the thread two times to make a knot and it'll make a knot as you pull it. And I like to make sure I do it a few times at the starting point so I can make sure that area is really secure and I'm going to knot it a few times as well and then I'll proceed to start sewing it on regularly. Now that I have the closure sewn on, it's now time for me to take my longest bundle and that will be the first bundle that I use to start in the back of the wig. These bundles are provided by Ariel Monique Collection here. These bundles that I'll be using today are a 18, 20, and 22 inch with a 16 inch closure from Ariel Monique Collection. Okay, here's the first one. I already have my bundle pinned to the cap using those T-pins that I mentioned earlier before. Those T-pins are going to allow you to keep your wefts stuck to the cap so that it won't move as you're sewing down your track to your wig cap. As done previously, I like to take the needle and go directly through the weft and into onto the cap so that that track is secure to your cap and double it in the beginning as well to just to be extra safe on the safe side at all times. So after that, you're pretty much just gonna do the same thing as you did before when you were sewing down the clothes you're going to go. It's gonna be pretty repetitive from here on out. You're gonna go side to side, placing the 
weft and you're going to continue to sew in the same pattern until you get closer to the top of the closure. Also, as I'm sewing down my wefts to the cap, I do not go through the wefts at all times. I only go through the wefts in the beginning and end of the bundle to make sure the beginning and the end is tightly secured to the cap by going through the wefts. Throughout this process, you'll see me, I'm going around the wefts. I'm not going through it just around because that causes extra shedding that does not need to be necessary. Here I'm at the end of this bundle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the needle net. And this is the point where you will actually go through the weft to make sure that it's secure to the cap and double knot it and do it a few times just to be secure. Because we don't need no more wigs flying, no more tracks slipping in 2020. Come on, ladies, we can do this. This is our year. Let's make it happen. Now that we're closer to the closure, I am now going to cut the bundles that were doubled to begin with. And I'm going to take a single piece of the track and that's how I'm going to close it out and make sure that it's thin and nice and flat on top. So with this last piece that's going to be connected to the closure, I'm going to take this piece, the single piece, and I'm going to pin it as closely to the closure as possible so that I could take the needle and I'm going to take the needle and go directly through the weft to start off with again and go directly through the cap and through the lace closure as well. And you'll only need to go through the weft again starting off when you're taking this last piece and sewing it to the closure. After that, you can go back to how you were doing it before and going around the weft, but make sure you're going through the net and the lace closure as well to make sure those two are connected because you will cut the inside of this cap out. I can't believe we made it. We're at the finish line. We're here. We're almost done. I actually pulled my closure down a little bit too far. As you can see the cap in the end of the closure, but it's okay. I will upload pictures of my client's hair at the end of this video as well. Or you can check it out on my Instagram page at Ariel Monique Collection as well.
So now you're pretty much done. You just need to cut the inside of the cap under the lace closure. You will follow the stitching that you created when sewing the lace closure onto the cap as you'll be able to see that on the inside and just cut around that stitching. This is the finished looks. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Please make sure you thumbs up this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bells on. And make sure you follow me on all social media platforms that I am Erin Monique, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Wait, not so soon. I want to show y'all the finished look after I dyed and colored it as well and sent it off to my client as she got it installed.